In a world full of- nope, wait, sorry, wrong introduction! Alright, what's going on dudes? Welcome back to another episode of Ultra Modded Survival. In a world where I start off with the wrong introduction. Anyway, since we last left off, I did a live stream, and in that live stream, I think I kind of sort of put together at least the, the base for our boss battle arena thingamadoohick or whatever you want to call it. The reason I say I sort of put together the bases is because it would sort of function as a, a, an arena for doing battle, except I, I could polish it up a little bit further, add some stadium seating, maybe add like a little glass on the top as, as spectating. Anyway, if you missed any of the live stream, I'll put a link in the description that'll take you to the replay. If you made it out, on the other hand, thanks for stopping by and watching. Let me quickly go on over to the boss fighting arena and I can sort of show you what's up. I mean, it's it's nothing like super crazy. Basically just used a whole bunch of cobblestone in order to uh, to create some high walls so that when we do spawn some mobs in here, they hopefully won't escape. I mean, granted, if they can fly, that's going to be an issue, but we'll start off not spawning any flying mobs and uh, not spawning anything of uh, block breaking variety. So. In other words, we, we won't be summoning the Wither probably to fight anything. We also probably won't be summoning the King or Mobzilla because they'll just break everything. But anything that doesn't break blocks and will simply focus on its enemy, uh, that works. Eating, by the way. I need to do that, and I've been meaning to uh, to eat some bacon and, and see what it does, if anything special. Maybe it'll give me a buff. It is, a, it is an ore spawn thing, so let's see. Any buffs? Do I get any buffs? Oh, I do. Strength and regen. Ho ho ho, boy. Save him a bacon. Oh, it looks like it's really fast regen, too. Hold on, let's see. Let's see this. Uh, is it? Is it really fast? No, I guess it's not. Kind of looked like it, the, the the speed at which it's doing, like, the wave across the hearts at the bottom of the screen, but it, it's cool. It's, it's whatever. So anyway, uh, we'll get back to this in uh, in just a little bit. But while I was over in the mining dimension during the stream looking around for some spawn eggs just so we could we could gather some bosses that we could spawn in our in our battle arena, um, I found some dungeons and I figured we could uh, we could check them out. There was one it's been around for a while, just haven't stumbled upon it yet. It's the uh, the basilisk arena, and then there was one more that I, I have never actually seen before. So check both of them out. And then after that, we'll head back here, and uh, we will do battle, and stuff, and things, and it'll be awesome. So let's go into the mining dimension. Here we go. I uh, I marked them off with waypoints, just so you know. I could get there a little bit quicker. Hey, red ants. Red ants are being so obnoxious to me on the stream, I swear. <laughs> Come on, guys. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. All right. So, well, we've got a, uh, we've got a green waypoint, and we have got a uh, sort of peach colored waypoint which do we want to do first i know the uh, the basilisk is the green one so i guess we're already on our way over there we go all right here we have the basilisk dungeon uh probably going to be a good idea to swap out the power armor for the royal guardian stuff and perhaps we should eat another bacon i guess if we get into trouble we can do that this could be a, a bit of a, an interesting little endeavor here couldn't it well I guess uh, let's actually, let's have our portal gun at the ready. I should have just thrown this back at our, our telepad, but for some reason I didn't. So, oh well, it is what it is. Um, we'll throw yellow down over there, and then if I need to get out in a hurry, we throw blue down. We'll be good to go. Oh, what the heck was that? Uh, did a creeper just blow up, or was that a meteor thing from, from Ars Magic Earth? That was! Hey! This is what I was looking for over here. Is this a meteor? No. 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 I hear something else. What did I hear? I literally have no idea what I heard. Every time I hear a random explosion, I always think, "Oh, hey, maybe it's uh, maybe it's Moonstone." Speaking of Moonstone, I still need to collect the Sunstone from the Nether. Um, I will get to that eventually. That is uh, again stream material, but uh, it is what it is. So anyway, let's head back down into the pit. I don't know how deep this goes, but it's getting dark, so I'll put down some torches. Okay, this is actually going really. Really deep into the ground. Uh, I could be getting myself into a bit of a situation here. Oh, what do we have? Oh, duh, I should like collect all this obsidian, man. What am I doing? <laughs> I should just get all of it. I've 
I've been in need of obsidian, and, uh, you know, this is a perfect opportunity to mine some. Mm-hmm. Although that could take a while, to be completely honest. Oh, hey. What's up? Anybody in here? Anybody? Oh. Ooh. Looks like we have a little obsidian maze. I mean, don't mind me. Just going to go ahead and break some of it. I could also collect some iron, but I think there are more efficient ways of collecting iron. However, the obsidian, on the other hand, is probably a more efficient way of collecting it, but I haven't figured it out yet because I probably just I haven't looked into it really. Uh, so, you know, mining it out the old fashioned way. It is what it is. Just gonna just gonna collect a little bit because I've always found that I end up needing more obsidian and I don't have it Then I have to go and mine some more and this is convenient and now it's thundering and being all ominous and stuff I wish I I mean it's crazy that it, it's not any faster even with the ultimate pickaxe which has all its enchantments on it uh, Anyway, you know what? I'm not gonna bore you with this I can do this in a stream or something, just mine obsidian the entire time. Ah, uh, let me just check out what's going on over here. Do I have to... Oh, this is the entry to the maze over here. So I was kind of just shortcutting a little bit. Okay, so... Um... Well, this isn't going to be very fun. It's a obsidian maze where I have to... Hold on. There's also... It seems like there's more... There's more on the other side of this. Do you guys see that, uh, that path? I can't tell if it's an abandoned mine shaft or what... But let's try to see. Hmm. I don't know if it's at a lower elevation or a higher elevation. Down maybe. I'm just seeing a mine shaft or something of the sorts. I don't know if it's part of this or what. Eh, whatever. We'll do the maze. Maybe it'll lead us there. All right. So here we go. Oh, God. And instantly just in the lava. Nice. Nice. I'm good at this. Well, fortunately, it doesn't seem like the flames will stay on me for too long, and my armor is at uh, pretty high durability at the moment. I do. I do hate me some mazes, though, to be completely honest with you. Mazes are not my most uh, amazing strong point. What did I just pick up? Uh, some iron ingots. Oh, something died. <laughs> something fell into the lava and died. Poor, poor thing. All right, there we go. And... Oh, hi. There, that's the tail. What's up? <laughs> that was, uh, oh, well, I, I made my way through the maze successfully, apparently. Hello. How's it going? Good, good, I hope, because I'm about to uh, come in and, and say hello to everyone. Oh, God, the slowness. Ow. Does that hurt? I bet that hurt pretty, pretty badly. Did it hurt? Because uh, that's a darn shame. Oh, hi. No, please die. Please die. Please, can you die? There we go. And you're dead. Never understood why you're made out of uh, raw chicken, but that's okay, I suppose. Not gonna, not gonna question your composition. Random teleport block. Heck, does that thing do? I'm kind of nervous to step on that. Uh, hi there. And didn't even get a chance to hit me. Sorry about that. <laughs> okay, how long is this slow buff gonna last? Oh, there we go. Much better. Um. Oh, what the. Uh, uh, oh, there we go. <laughs> okay, so there are a bunch of those on the ground, and I am going to try to avoid them because I guess they TP me back out. Uh, all right, good to know, good to know. Well, at least I've got my, oh, ultimate bow, ultimate chest plate. Uh, ultimate bow, I guess, is of more use, but we may as well take it all. All right, ender pouch. I got things coming in. I got things coming in. Oh, by the way. Um, the, the quarry, I now have it mining up cobblestone, and I can't remember if I, I took the dirt out of the, uh, I, I took the, the cobble out of the, the diamond pipe so that the, that's getting pumped through into the, uh, the ME system, and also, uh, any dirt, um, I mean, I've been meaning to do that as well if I haven't already, just because, um, you can make something called, I was going over this on the stream, but you can make something that's called compressed, uh, compressed cobblestone and compressed dirt and it basically allows you to stick up to 43 million cobblestone into a single block so we won't really run out of space really uh obsidian too i guess that's not that's uh not going in there so whatever throw all that stuff in throw that stuff in hopefully we don't get too big of a backup here all right and raw chicken i guess whatever item frames in and I don't know for whatever reason doesn't seem to want to 
But that's oh, thank you, Blaze Rods. Woohoo! Oh, so many ultimates. All right. All right. Oh man, this is some legit stuff right here. Woo! All right. Oh, so many diamonds. Holy crap! This is legit. Critter cage, golden apples. Um, yeah, I'm kind of causing this thing to overflow slightly, so I need to I need to figure out a better way to get things pumping out if I'm gonna have cobblestone going in from a quarry that's actually going really fast. Because this is uh, not the most efficient method right here, <laughs> is it? Oh, there we go, there we go. Now it's now it's pumping stuff out, but still it's eh. There's probably a more efficient method to get lots more items pumping out at once. I just don't know about it. So for the moment, I'm gonna leave my inventory be. Um, firefish. If I eat, if I ate a firefish, would that be good or bad for my health? <laughs> let's let's find out as soon as I can eat something. Um, oh, and there we go. All right, combine the stacks. Uh, anything I can throw back? No, nope, nope, nope. Okie dokie. So now let's go to the uh, the other thing. I suppose we can always come back here as well if we want some more obsidian, so that's convenience. And of course, it's thundering. <laughs> of course, of course. Let's go, ow, leave me alone. All right, let's go over to the other thing real quick. I don't know why, why is it always raining wherever I go in this series, I swear. There's another Basilisk dungeon over there. Well, if I need more loot, I guess I know where to find it. Uh, this was the other one. What is this thing? It looks like it has a lot of bees in it. A lot of bees. Wow. Not the bees. Not the bees. It's okay, Nicolas Cage. I'll save you, man. Uh, well, this is going to be fun. I actually, wait. Uh, I don't have fall damage protection when I do this, but that's okay. Whee! And, oh, here they go. Actually, I really do, am going to need to fly for this. Uh, let me go into, I guess, bat mode. Batman, -na 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 Batman. All right, here we go. And everybody ready? Everybody ready? Take him out! Take him out! Take him out! Take him out! Ow! I got booted off. Nope, I'm poisoned. Oh, poison the great equalizer. Uh, okay. Wait a minute. And bees, bees. Okay. All right. Boom. 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 And nope. God dang it! Let me get this stuff. Okay, wait, ow, 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 leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone, taking poison damage. And bada bing, bada boom. All right, cool. There are a lot of chests here. There are a lot, a lot of chests and a lot of gold. Uh, experience orb catcher. I wonder what that does. Uh, let's just see all the stuff that we get. Uh, there's uh, there's actually a good bit of the, uh, the crystal dimension stuff. Uh, fairy sword, which, um, yeah, there's a lot of the, the crystal dimension stuff in here. I wonder why that is. Let's see, spawn bees. Well, what do you know? <laughs> uh, chest plate, more fairy sword. Let's see. Mm. I mean, given the sheer amount of chests that there are in here, it doesn't really surprise me that they're not exactly the highest tiered items. And it seems like it's just more of the same. Uh, let me double check up on how our ender pouch is doing. How are we doing? We're doing good. Cool. All right. Uh, actually, you know what? Let me see. Can I pass that through? I can. Pass that through. Pass that through. There is it just this thing that won't go in? Oh no, what? Just wasn't allowing it to earlier for whatever reason. That and the golden apples, ender pearls. Okay. Blaze rods, critter cage, titanium, diamonds. Um, anything else? That. That and okay, we good. All right. Cool. Oh, I guess we should bring the flowers as well in case we want to make more dye. Alrighty. Well, in that case, um, ooh, stink bug. I'm just, I'm going to get any, uh, any spawn eggs that I can find. But I guess we could take an extra set of the, I'll take that just because I have no idea what it is. Take that. And I can take that. Just so I have an extra set. I can't remember with the, uh, the crystal dimension if... When I 
go in there from the overworld if it removes all of my stuff that's just not crystal dimension related or if it allows me to take uh, crystal dimension uh, if it just removes everything or if it just doesn't allow me to take anything that's not crystal dimension sort of like the uh, the Vethia dimension over in divine RPG uh, looking for the chest plate there we go and then the boots I forgot about the boots oh no I have the boots okay cool well, that is uh, good stuff. Good stuff right there. I still don't know what that does, so maybe I should try using it. Right click. What do you do? What do you do? You just swing. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what that accomplishes, so that's cool. I'll throw it back. All right. Well, anyway, uh, with that out of the way, why don't we head back home and uh, let's match up two mobs against each other and have a fight, because that sounds like a plan to me okie dokie where is the telepad please don't be raining when i get back either <laughs> the rain is just i must have just picked biomes where the rain just happens all the time firefish what are you gonna do for me uh fire resistance okay that makes sense that's actually kind of useful actually that's actually kind of useful actually it's actually not at all redundant either all right and is it raining? No, it's yes, it's raining. Of, of course it's raining. Of course, of course it's raining. Why wouldn't it be? Okay, give me just one second to make it stop raining and please enough of the rain. I still haven't found a tornado or anything. The, the weather mod is installed. Tornado should happen. So maybe it's a, a biomes of plenty thing or maybe I just have no luck in there. There are no tornadoes around here. I just I've let the rain last before, but it just gets obnoxious and we're not getting any tornadoes. So anyway, all right, what do we have here? Spawn, boom, 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 boom. Uh, so when I was in the stream, I, I found something that seemed kind of cool. A uh, sea viper, that's what it was. I have no idea what a sea viper is, but it sounds awesome. Also, apparently there's a, a mob called an Easter bunny, which will spawn more spawn eggs. <laughs> Sounds cool. I don't know what the sea viper is, so I don't know what exactly is an even match for it. Um, hmm. Emperor scorpion. We've done that one before. Ender dragon. It's not a good call. It'll break the uh, the arena. Uh, goldfish. Golden apple cow. Hercules beetle. Hercules beetle. Have we seen a Hercules beetle before? Because it sounds kind of cool. Why don't we do a sea viper and a Hercules beetle? Hopefully the sea viper doesn't start suffocating, given that it's not going to be in the sea. Um, all right, I'm going to stay as a bat just because we want to spectate this. Hopefully it goes well. It may not at all. Um, oh, something I'm going to definitely want to have is uh, some water. Because, uh, yep, okie dokie, let's see. Um, no signal. Why is there no signal? Huh? What the heck? Wireless access terminal... No signal. Why you no have wireless access point? Uh, hmm. I don't know why you no work, but whatever. Okay, I'll worry about that later. For now, bucket, 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 and we will make spawn eggs out of you. All right, here we go. Boom, boom. Sea viper. I hope it, I hope it's not totally anticlimactic, and the sea viper and the Hercules beetle end up being like these five health things. <laughs> Guess we'll find out. Actually, I can give myself a little sneak peek by searching sea viper. Uh, could I knew? Apparently, it does not have a uh, doesn't have a spawner icon. Okay, whatever. Whatever. Here we. Why am I going this way? Why am I not just using the uh, the portal? I don't know. Because it wouldn't be an episode of Ultramodded Survival without some face bombs. That's why. <laughs> All right. Well, here we go. Is everybody ready? I'm ready to spawn a sea viper. Oh, that's actually kind of cool. Okay, and then uh, I don't want to touch that. Hercules beetle. Do battle. Oh, there we go. Doing battle. How much health does the sea viper have, by the way? I. Well, he's getting launched in the air. I don't think the sea viper has much of a chance, does he? Sea viper 160. It was actually a pretty even match. Woohoo! I didn't. Well, it's not really a pretty even match. Sea Viper's kind of getting destroyed. Uh, Hercules Beetle, I mean, he's going down, but Sea Viper, oof. 
just absolutely demolished. Ooh, hey, thanks for taking care of him for me. I appreciate that. <laughs> 250 health though. That is a serious beetle. Okay, can we? Do we have a? Uh, do we have a challenger for the Hercules beetle? Do we have a challenger? I could go Emperor Scorpion up against the Hercules beetle. We could do like we could we could bet on this. <laughs> we could turn this into a a betting competition. Um, okay. What would we bet though? We would bet gold ingots on it or something like that, or we'd bet our we'd bet our titanium and our uranium. Um, okay. Well, anyway, let's figure out what do we want next. What do we want next? We're gonna have a uh, we're gonna have a ladder style tournament competition. Um, okay. So Hercules. Oh no, he's gonna despawn though. You know what? We should just make a rule. Whatever the winner is, we can take him out with, uh, we can just kill it with our Royal Guardian Sword, and then that, we respawn, and then we, uh, and then we face it off against whatever we want to challenge it against next. That way we don't have to worry about despawning and stuff, you know, because it's probably going to be despawned by the time we get back there. So we give it a fresh start as well. All right, spawn. But of course the original spawn egg that we use, like, uh, I'll find it in the, uh, in the wild. Um, hmm. We could go Ender Knight versus Ender... There's, like, the Ender Warrior and Ender Knight. I don't even know if they'll fight each other, though. Um, what's a good one next? Scorpion, Spitbug, Stinkbug. Stinkbug! Hmm, I wonder if the Stinkbug's actually, like, cool or not. Um, Cryolophosaurus. Terrible Terror Lizard, Hydralisk, uh, Velocity Raptor. Why don't we try Stink Bug versus Hercules Beetle? You know, two two bugs going at it. <laughs> this could be could be somewhat anticlimactic though, but that's that's okay. Here we go. Let's get another bit of water. And alright. Boom. Hey! Oh, stupid battle squid things. Um all right, here we go. Actually, you know what I should do? Stink bug. Search up the stink bug and see if it looks cool at all. Stink bug. Actually, that looks really small. <laughs> that looks that looks really really small. It might just get absolutely annihilated. But I guess that's a risk we uh, are going to be willing to take here. Let's. What does the stink bug look like? Oh. Yeah. No. Ah. Uh, I don't I don't think he'd have much of a chance. <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> Poor guy. You have no idea what you almost just got matched up against. It would have been bad news. I'll spare you the uh I'll spare you the terror of what that would have been. Alright, whatever, let's do Emperor Scorpion. Let's see how it goes, because you know, we um we we tried it last time with the uh the jumpy bug, but it just wasn't working. So we could actually we could do a rematch there maybe, but I think I think Jumpy Bug would honestly get absolutely demolished. So let's do uh, Emperor Scorpion, and then we will do uh, another Hercules Beetle. I'll have to get a hold of one. Give me one second to do that. All right, so we've got the Hercules Beetle and the Emperor Scorpion. Are we ready for battle? Here we go. Off to the battle arena. A super dramatic voice. Let me eat some bacon before this starts. Okay, yeah, let's, I forgot about the particle effects. Let's just get that all in the way of me being able to, to see and stuff. F1 does not make that go away either. All right, well, whatever. Okay, so Emperor Scorpion, in this corner, we have the, actually, let me just pick up the fish and stuff real quick. Okay, in this corner, we have weighing in at 500 kilograms, the Emperor Scorpion, and he is knocked back. And in this corner, weighing in at a mere 200 kilograms is the Hercules Beetle. Oh, I thought he got booted out of the arena. <laughs> All right, I think yeah, my money's on Emperor Scorpion here. I would say it's about 10 to 1 odds this time around. I, I, do, think, I do think Hercules Beetle. Oh! Hercules Beetle coming back, coming back, bringing back the, uh, the knockback into the air. Oh! Emperor Scorpion's taking a little bit of damage, but he has that regen to mess around with. Hercules Beetle taking big chunks all at once, also taking the poison damage from the Emperor Scorpion Sting. I don't know if he's going to be able to come back from this, but he's still trying his heart out. I still give it 10 to 1 odds in favor of the Emperor Scorpion. Oh, Hercules Beetle getting backed into a corner. This is not good news, but 
He's able to knock Emperor Scorpion back into the air, back into the air a second time, combo wamboing it up. Always trying his heart out, despite the fact that it may be a tough uphill climb. Emperor Scorpion getting thrown back into the air, down below 300 health. But Hercules Beetle, oh, almost at 50%. You can feel the pain. But he still keeps going nonetheless. Meanwhile, Emperor Scorpion's trying to corner Hercules Beetle. Hercules Beetle still not giving in. Hercules Beetle still trying to push out, but it seems like he keeps getting trapped in that corner no matter what he does. Emperor Scorpion, though. Emperor Scorpion, though, he's almost down. He's almost down to 200 health. Hercules Beetle's certainly not going to let him go down without a little bit of pain. Oh, but Hercules Beetle now down below like 30%, somewhere around there. I can do math on the fly, especially especially good good live commentary on my part. I should be a sports announcer for, for mob battles taking place in the King's Arena. <laughs> One of these days, maybe we'll spawn the King and he'll just absolutely demolish everything. Does the King destroy blocks? King may not destroy blocks, actually. So there's that. Oh! And we're switching corners here. Emperor Scorpion now below 50%, but the Hercules Beetle. Hercules Beetle about to take his last breath. Ah, oh, he fought well. He fought well. But I don't know that it was enough. And the Hercules Beetle is down for the count. Well, victory to the Emperor Scorpion. But with, uh, with great victory comes R.I.P. from that right there. <laughs> Okay, and uh, free loots for me. Thanks very much for taking care of each other. Uh, much, much obliged. Well, I think that was that was kind of fun. We should we should keep doing these more often. Uh, God dang it, stupid scorpions! Just the cleanup can be a little bit obnoxious here. Get out of here! Get out of here! Oh, cleanup, cleanup always just always the worst part of playtime. You know, you're having such a good time, and then mom comes in. She's like. All right, time to clean up. And you're like, God dang it, I have stuff all over the place. But it was so fun, and now I have to get rid of it all. Put it back into its boxes. Uh, anyway, I think I might call the episode here. So you don't want to watch clean up. Uh, but hopefully you've enjoyed If you have, a rating would be very much appreciated. And uh, I don't know, if you have any suggestions for different matchups that would be, like, very even uh, in the future, then feel free to suggest them. Um, and then once in a while, maybe I'll, I'll do one of these, assuming that I'm able to... To find the, you know, the the spawn eggs for him. So, yep, that's about gonna do it. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.